Hi guys, welcome to video number three in the Jumbo series. So um, this is a couple days after we recorded. So far we started working on the motor, started putting, we did all the decking with plywood and we started, um, we completely have it framed out. I needed to add some more things because we went with uh, 3 8 inch plywood, which is a little bit lighter than we probably should have. So we're gonna add a little more support so I'm comfortable I stood on it and it held my weight. I just wanted to feel a little less squish underneath me. Um, the price for this episode is the same as last episode. So this, um, because all the stuff that we used in the video, I had already had. Uh, the two by fours were from a project from a long time ago, so we'll count those as zero. My uncle gave me the angle iron and the self tapper. So um, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, thank you guys for coming back for another one. All right, so I have my, uh, what do you call them? The the girls that like present, my presentation girl lady here. <laughs> okay, show, show them what, what my thought process is here. Yep, yep, that's pretty good. All right, so we bought, we, we have this angle iron here from my, uh, my uncle Darren. So angle. it's like three inch by two inch, or it's like inch and a half by two and a half inch, something like that, who knows. Anyways, I'm thinking about mounting it like this. We want, we have two by fours, I'm gonna rip them to two inches so that you can see that's, so this would be flush almost for an inch and a er. half here, ish. But, er, er flusher. Flusher. We want it more flusher. <laughs> more better. We want it more flusher. So we're gonna get the angle grinder out and Cut some of these size, measure, and get her done. All right, so we have marked. My dad marked here. We're uh, we're eyeballing her here. Remember, safety second. Safety is your second priority. Give you your safety glasses on, Dad. I have my glasses on. There you go. <laughs> That's how you pick up all the chicks. Make sure you wear rubber boots and rubber sandals. It's great for catching sparks. Yep. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yep. We just have to measure it now and just, just, you know? Mm hmm. So now we're trying to figure out how to keep this level. So we're about to cut a board the length here and then rip it. All right. Just to catch y'all up, we got this center support in, as you saw previously. We've been having a lot of screwing around and figuring out and now he's putting screws on the floor that'll surely go into his mother's tires. So we cut these to size for the front. This will go underneath uh, the front seat there. This is drawn on here so that we can put two in. To Locate our board. Yeah, so now we just have to eyeball it. About like that. Get our self tapper here. Now I'm going to put a second one too so it doesn't move around. Everybody. Like that. Let's see how well we lined it up. Close enough for government work. It looks like it's coming off at an angle because the front of the boat's angled there. So we'll do the same thing with this one. We're putting these ones in first because we won't have room with the self tapper to do it after. So we have to put these in first. There.
There we go. I had it zoomed in. Looks like a nice snug pick to me. You're a little too snug. Yeah. Oh, I got that one for That's better. Yeah, except now we don't have any board. Because this has to go flush. Hmm. Yeah. The problems of building, eh? Yeah, I bought it too short. And you know what they say. Measure once, cut three times. All right. This is how you mount a boat. <laughs> so what we did differently here is... You can't see it right now, but there's a line in the front here, and I couldn't get the marker in correctly, and it pushed the line forward too much, and that's what made it short back here. But now we're going to be good to go once we get it put into place. So that's where we're at and the next thing we'll do is put a piece right in the middle where matthew is to give center support so remember this is family friendly whatever all right well when it gets more exciting kind of like that we'll come back what happened? Do I want to tell them what happened? Yeah. So we recorded a whole segment where I had it on photo instead of video. So you guys missed out on Achy Breaky Heart and some other commentary. But what I did want you guys to know is Matt pre-drills the metal from the top. And it creates a hole so that he knows where to set the screw for coming up underneath into the cross member. I'm gonna do two on this side because this one's spun. Try to straighten it out a little bit. But uh, what I said earlier was after three drill bits, multiple screws and maybe a couple cuss words don't know maybe under our breath we uh we got her together here we got the three in and the weather's not looking so great they're calling for quarter size hail and lightning and all kinds of fun stuff. So we're just gonna wrap her up tonight. So we got these three in here. We uh, cut them like 33 inch uh, miter and then we ripped them down to uh, two inches. So we're running three across here. Eventually my plan is to put, I might just end up putting two separate doors here for access into this. Um, but the chair is gonna go Somewhere like right here, my seat and my foot pedal is going to be right here. So that's the tentative plan. But we got to figure it out. I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to go because the chair sits down. So I'm going to have to put one of these slightly off center so that we can get the chair in center. Or maybe the chair will be slightly off center. 
I don't think it'll look as good then, so. And you should probably keep it center, especially on this one. Yeah. yeah. So, but, yeah. we'll figure out how to do that once uh, we get it in here. But there are definitely going to be some sort of cubby here. We we're planning to put the battery up here, but it doesn't fit. So, the battery's not going to be moved to right at that uh, farthest side there. And that's where all electronics are going to be. So, that's the plan at the moment. But now we got this front. This area is all done. The front is done with framing at the moment. And then this back area here. I think we're going to run about halfway here across. We'll run uh, two eyes, and there'll be a opening there, and then back here, this will we'll run uh, probably one across here, one across here on each side, so we can lift that up, and it'll be easy access to that too. But that's how it is right now. All right, so we ran into a little problem here. You can see the tank is a little bit high. So I'm thinking what's gonna end up happening is this is gonna rest on it. But you can see there's some room here. So either we cut this lid down a little bit or it'll be just flush. But yep, that's the current predicament.
All right, guys. So clearly I'm editing because I'm wearing the exact same shirt as the intro. But um, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, I wanted to do the deck and the um, framing out at the same time. But unfortunately, the video is has a lot. So I, I just want to do them in separate parts. So this episode three is going to be, this is the conclusion of the framing. Anything else I'll do, I'll just do off camera. But um, the decking will be the next video, maybe. Or maybe it'll be the motor. I don't know. I got to figure it out. But I'm sealing up the deck right now and getting it ready to go on. It's looking pretty good. And then wiring is going to be coming up here soon too. So those will be the next couple of videos to look forward to. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'll see you in the next episode.